when you go to tree import here, we've got options to import from various file formats. We've got iTree, Cartago, Google Earth, CSV, Excel access. So if you're doing tree survey work or you're working with a consultant, an agriculture consultant, who's got tree survey data in Excel or access, you can bring that data in as we're going to show here. So if I just bring in a general file here, which has got some BS categories in, what we've added as a, as a new feature, obviously when we've brought in tree data here, we can make associations to what information we've got. So the tree data we've importing has got a tree reference number. I want to link to that, and that's in our database. That's referred to as the survey reference. So I can make these file associations. And when I've got these file associations, so when I get things like north values as well, so that's the north canopy value, I've got to set the dimension, whether it's recorded in meters, millimeters, or centimeters. When I've created this association, I can actually save it as a template file. So I'm just going to import one I've created earlier, Blue Peter fashion. That makes all the associations for me. So once you've done this once, you don't have to keep doing it every single time. Select the trees you want to import. And what we've added as a new feature, which we, we didn't have before, is when you OK this now, it says, do you want to automatically insert a specification and leader? So I'm going to say yes. It then gives me the option now to specify where I want the leader to go and the angle from the tree. So at the moment, it's going to be five meters from the edge of the radius of the tree at an angle of 45 degrees, or the, the leader will be. And you can even set the angle of the text when it comes in. So previously, people had to go and do this manually after they brought all the trees in. So I'll go, OK, that. I haven't got the locations here, so I'm just going to use these to pick points in the drawing. OK, that. And that's drawn all my trees in the drawing with all the data and the labels positioned. That feature has come in with this release, and previously you would have to double-click each tree and position the text manually.